So is it now possible to demodulate phase information also without carrier recovery? And um, the answer is yes. So we can do this with the help of so-called differential encoding. Differential encoding. So let's just um, draw an example. So you've got these um, symbol intervals T. And so we've got three sections. And um, so now let's draw a wave into that. And the idea is now the following, that basically because there's no phase change between these two sections, that's a zero. And um, between section number two and three, there is now a phase change and we call it a one. So in other words, the transition is um, coding the information. So no phase change means it's a zero. And um, if there's a phase change between two of these chunks at length t, then it's a one. So how can we demodulate that? Um, that's pretty simple. So we just use a, use a delay unit t, same time as these chunks on the left, or symbol lengths, and we multiply this with the original signal and do a low-pass filtering of this signal. And then of course the threshold again as usual, and with that we are getting our data stream back out. And so as we see, there's no carrier recovery. This works just by this multiplication operation. And there's no need to, to recover it, and um, we just need a simple delay unit. And um, so in, in case of the zero, this here gives us at the output a one. And um, in case of the um, one, this um, gives us here a minus one at the output. And so then we're getting these two different possibilities and are able to decode our... So such a demodulation scheme is called asynchronous demodulation. That's a very important concept. So asynchronous means so we don't need the carrier to demodulate it. So no carrier required for this demodulation scheme. No carrier required. That's a bit falling off the slide there, but um, that's clear what is meant with that. We had also another um, asynchronous demodulation before, and this was AM demodulation. Amplitude modulation, remember, so we had a, we transmitting our sine wave just by changing the amplitude of this carrier here. So time, and that's our AM signal. So that's the amplitude of the carrier is um, changed. And the way we have demodulated is, this is um, with the help of a diode and a capacitor. So we're just a simple rectifier. And again, there uh, we don't need the carrier information. So we just need these two simple devices here, like a diode and um, and the capacitor. And with that, we are able to listen to radio. And um, this was the way the very old, uh, the very early radios were built. So it's our AM signal here. Yeah. So. Just write this down here again. So this is called asynchronous demodulation. So we don't need the carrier. Then let's add our synchronous demodulation, which um, requires the carrier, and obviously because of that, ways of recovering the carrier.